I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and this is your weather on demand. Well, this has been some storm which has affected millions of Americans really all the way through the Great Plains, upper Midwest, and including the record-breaking warmth in the south, just a whole slew of people. And for us locally, though, we're talking about 62 mile an hour wind gusts. These were just a few of the storm reports that I found. 48 miles an hour peak wind gusts out of Newberry. It was also 49 from Marquette. And areas in uh, Escanaba and Delta County were pretty close to this, mid to upper 40, where the wind was gusting. And it will continue to do so over the next uh, few hours or so. As far as the snow and ice accumulations up to two inches, in Red Ridge, and that is in Houghton County. Everybody else was generally between one and two inches of just a real mess between the sleet, snow, and freezing rain. But Besmer had over a tenth of an inch of uh, freezing rain with just ice, and some places had between one to two tenths of ice. And of course, that made roads a mess this morning. Right now, we're dealing with the aftermath of that as the roads continue to refreeze thanks to much colder air, even ar Arctic air, I'll say, coming in from the west. Gusts, though, now right around 30 miles per hour all across the west, especially. 33 from Houghton and also from uh, Copper Harbor, 25 miles an hour reading from Iron River. As our temperatures today were all over the board, really, we started very cold, at least moderately cold, then rose to 40 degrees here at the Weather Service. And look at the low. Our low actually was warmer than where we should be for our high this time of the year. Records there are 45 and minus 18. And they're starting to pick up a couple of minutes on the sunset, by the way. Uh, temperatures across the north and west are getting much colder. They're dropping, and we're going to be doing likewise over the next several hours. 16 degrees International Falls and 9 degrees in Kenora. It's this colder air coming over the relatively warm waters of Lake Superior, particularly the west wind, which has uh, prompted a lake effect snow advisory for the Keweenaw Peninsula. Also, they're not the only ones who's going to be seeing snow, primarily uh, for the northeastern portion of the UP. They'll also pick up a couple of inches, but we could see additional four to eight inches of snow across the Keweenaw through Wednesday morning. Check out these temperatures, though. So we the cold to the north and west, 19 Minneapolis, 5 Winnipeg, but check out these current readings. 38 in Chicago, the cold front has crossed there. By the way, tons of records smashed. Indianapolis uh, broke a record, Fort Wayne, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Detroit, Flint, all broken records, and currently 66 degrees in Cleveland at the moment for December 26. So our satellite and radar shows us that uh, we're still talking about the leftover remnants of the storm Europa, and also the cold front now finally getting to Cleveland, so they'll be a little bit cooler uh, very soon. For us, just some leftover snow, which will make its way across the UP. Just a, maybe a coating to as much as a half an inch will fall across the uh, upper peninsula, but generally the wind is going to be the main story here as a secondary cold front kind of reinforces the Arctic air and brings us some lake effect snow, mainly north, but also in those west wind snow belts. Head into Wednesday, we have another little system, but this one's going to go a little bit farther to our north, so just a chance of some light snow during the afternoon hours of Wednesday. Tuesday, though, much different than where we were on Monday. Temperatures in the low to even mid-20s across the east, not getting out of the teens in the west. Your TV six-day forecast doesn't feature any Arctic outbreaks or really any winter storms. We're talking about uh, 30 degrees by Thursday with just some lake enhancement as well going into Friday. Another clipper system on Saturday. Temperatures holding steady in the low to mid-20s for New Year's weekend.